It's a double nom. Okay. We're at this lovely cupcake place and I got myself a Nutella cupcake and it's gonna be delicious. Okay. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Delicioso. Mixed chocolate and marshmallow. And what cupcake did you get? Oh. <laughs> we <should> the, <laughs> the best couple things we can get here. We got Nutella and red velvet. And Charlie, of course. My cupcake is um, this beautiful. You can. It's imagine. chocolate, girl. Yeah, it's chocolate. Girl, I see your chocolate. Oh, I just hurt my hand on the door. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, okay, which you should follow me on Instagram so you can see all these things, cool things. Okay, so. I was in the Buddhist temple and in the bathrooms, it was like foreigner bath, foreigner bathroom. And I was like, oh, so yeah, I'm gonna use a bathroom pass, so we gotta have our own bathroom? I'm just joking. I knew that it was because usually a lot of places, especially in like temples, they're squat toilets, so. They put the foreigner one so that you know, okay, if I go in here, it's gonna be a regular toilet and not a little squatting toilet. But I actually kind of like the squatting toilets. Like when I first saw them, I was like, what am I supposed to do? Do I have to like take my pants all the way off and like hang them on the door and squat? I figured out how to use it and they're actually pretty good, especially if you've got to go number two, TMI, I think. So next topic. Okay, so this is one thing that kind of grinds my gears but sometimes older Korean women like I feel like they feel like they don't have to wait in line and they can just come in front of you because they're old I don't know if okay so I'm at the line trying to buy some rice cake you know I was asking the lady about the top the woman at the counter laughed and then the woman was like, oh, okay, and then went off, right? But oh, older women in Korea do that to me a lot when I'm like in the line or something. They like come up to the counter and start talking to the person like I'm not here. And then I'm like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it kind of frustrates me. My finger. <laughs> okay. But I was excited that I used the flim sound. <laughs> In Korea, if you want to put emphasis on words, you go like <laughs> sometimes. It just depends on what you're saying. So it's like in English, and I was like, that was so cool. You know how we like put emphasis on words like that? So it's like that in Korea too. But sometimes it's like a <laughs> sound. So when the lady was saying that, I said, Hwajong Seven, Tokyo style. Like, I don't even know if I used it properly, but it just like came out, so I was kind of proud of myself. Being all native fluency and like, I'm just kidding. But no, it was so cool. I went to the printing store and I was printing something, and he was like, oh, You speak Korean like native with, you speak Korean with native pronunciation. And I was like, Oh my god, this is, this is awesome. I'm so happy. Black rice and seaweed, yeah. and is it delicious? It is very good. And I am eating the sweet potato latte one, caramel sweet potato latte, and it's pretty good. Okay, so, but I was walking and I almost got hit by oyster juice. I was walking by and he like had a bag of oysters, and he was like swinging it. Okay, but I jumped back like that, you know, and so I didn't get hit by the oyster juice. So, yeah. You can get really fresh seafood in Korea. It's, it's pretty cool. But don't get hit by the oyster juice while you're passing by. When they're unloading the seafood on the sidewalk. When you're walking to go buy some lip gloss. 
uh, I was walking to get on the subway and this guy was sitting down. He was smelling spicy peppers in a plastic bag. Ooh. Anyway, I don't know if he was just checking to see if they were spicy so he know which one to eat right now. Because actually eating the gochu, the gochu peppers, like with just like some sometimes the sauce is really good. So like I just take the peppers and I eat them too. But sometimes you get the ones that be so hot. You be about to die. And so it's nice if you smell them first, I guess. But it was just so random. I don't know. It's just so random. Yes. Okay, guys. I'm actually trying to start a Korean show, and it's kind of like the Korean show Uri Kyoran Esayo. We got married, where we go on blind dates and we do challenges and stuff like that. So it's really cool. You guys get to hear a lot of Korean dialogue, eh? It's kind of like pretty much find Megan a boyfriend show. Yeah. So it's gonna be really awesome. We're actually just keeping the title DIP. So if you saw the first DIP, it's not that. I just think it's a cool name and plus Sungwoo, he already done made an intro that say DIP so we just gonna use that okay so it should come out sometime this week so if you see that show please click on it please watch it it's awesome and in the comments below um, after the show you can come up with challenges for me and the guy to do on our dates and stuff like that it's trying to be really cool guys so please support por favor so if you like this video and you like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page or the down below. And recently I made a Twitter, no, I didn't, Facebook. I've been saying that for a while now. I forgot, I probably like made it like a few months ago, so I'm gonna stop saying it. Please go on Facebook and give me a thumbs up and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. So uh, I will see ya.